What up, you guys? It's your boy, Wicked Potato, and I'm back with another story from the book Haunted Ohio 2 by Chris Woodyard. And this is from the chapter Convivial Spirits, and it is called The Silent Woman. And let's not beat around the bush. Let's dive right in. Three miles west of Lancaster, Ohio, on the old Cincinnati and Zanesville Pike Road, now US-22, stood an old tavern and a former stagecoach stop. D dr drovers were a rough lot and nearly all coaching inns have tales of mayhem told about them. In this case, the tales had a ghost to back them up. The tavern had been converted into a house and the homeowner found that the doors would simply not stay locked. No matter how carefully she checked the locks in the evening, they would always be open in the morning. The upstairs porch to the, uh, of the tavern faced the highway. In the darkest hours of the night, a headless woman with a baby in her arms would be seen pa pacing slowly across the porch as if filling her way. This went on for many years. As if it weren't bad enough, the family heard chains rattling and in, in certain upstairs rooms, strange gurgling sounds like someone was being choked. Odd mound-like graves heaved themselves up from the dirt floor of the basement. What looked like blood spots materialized on the floors of the upstairs rooms where their choking noises were heard. What kind of horrific story could this account for these manifestations? Perhaps the woman was a maid at the tavern. Perhaps when she presented her lover with this child, he refused not to believe it was his, or was so enraged that he beat her until she bled and then choked her and the child to death. He may have dismembered the bodies and buried them in the dirt floor cellar. Whatever the cause, at last, the family gave up the ghost and the house was torn down. Apparently, the ghost went with it since it has not been seen since. And like I said, I'll have one every day, you guys. Uh, this has been uh, The Silent Woman from the chapter Convivial Spirits, like I said, the first. And I'm going to be here every day giving you a story if you'd like to hear one or you want me to tell a story that you know or anything. Uh, just let me know here in the comments. I'm uh, happy to do that. Or you have a book you'd like to uh, read a story from that. I'm down to. Uh, next one probably will be a little longer. I'm going to do a part two. You know what I'm saying? One and part two. Uh, I've been picking smaller ones so that I can get them done. But I'm, I'm going to do part one and part two because there's a real good one uh, about the Buxton Inn. So uh, stay tuned. Bye.